This is experiment one, basic techniques, record the mass. A pretty basic function, and uh, but important to get it right. So I've got my uh, scale here, my jeweler's scale. It has a maximum of 220 grams, and it reads down to the 0 0.01 gram. So one thing that's important is to make sure that you don't put things that are heavier than 220 grams total on top of the scale, because that can damage the scale. I'm going to go ahead and turn my scale on. When I do, it should go to 0, 0.00 grams. And you can have different units here, but uh, we will always use grams. And this little dot there means that it is stable. It is done measuring. It is ready. You can write down the numbers. Um, so I came up at 0, 0.00. Uh, if it did not, then you can hit the 0, 0, uh, the zero button to get uh, what's called tear it to get it to zero. Now another important thing about this scale is that after two minutes it shuts off and there's no way around that that I've found. So I will always reference nothing on the scale as 0, 0.00. Now I'm gonna put my beaker on, see the little dot disappear? Then when the dot comes back, that means you can write it down and we would write down 25.16 grams. Um, another important thing about this is make sure that your beaker, your beaker and your scale are both clean and dry on the outside. And you can see this is clean and dry. Just make sure because a common mistake is to transfer water between these two, transfer solids. Um, so uh, we just wanna be careful about that to make sure we get accurate measurements. You can see that the scale read 25.16 uh, grams before, and then it read 25.15. That's a good example of the error in the scale being in the hundredths place, and we'll talk more about error throughout the course of this and the rest of the experiments.